What's up everyone? Today we got another little break from the Mock City. As promised, we're gonna do the little review, the dialed in and deep review of the Home Alone set. Now, I know this set was released last year, but a lot of you had said you would like to see a full review on it. So that's what I'm gonna give you. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do some more on the Mock City. But this is such a cool set, it's, you need to see. If you haven't gotten this set yet, I highly recommend it. Otherwise, you might miss out before it retires. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The Home Alone Lego set, number 21330, comes with 3,955 pieces, five minifigures, including Kevin, his mom, old man Marley, Harry, and Marv, and one okay vehicle. See what I did there? So not only is this set very large and bulky, but it's it's so nicely built. So for instance, you have the exterior right here. You have the attic that opens up. You have the second floor that completely opens up and the main floor that completely opens up. There's a back, we'll get into that, but right now I kind of just want to go you know, level by level and let y'all take a look at what's inside. So we're going to go ahead and close this and watch what else we can do. Once we close it, we can take off the roof, just like a regular modular building. We're going to set that over to the side. And now we can take off the second floor as well. And we can look down into it. We also have this at the back, but again, we'll get to that in a second. So if I open these back up, so that way you can see what's on the inside. First things, we're gonna go left to right. You have this cool picture, which is a throwback or a an Easter egg to Home Alone 2. Then on the inside, you have the bricks or Michael Jordan cut out from the movie that rides around the Christmas tree and that moves using this little lever on the side. So you can see I can turn it. Got a really cool Christmas tree in the back. You got a family portrait, Kevin, his sister and his mom. You got a beautiful fireplace with Christmas stockings as well. And then you even have the Home Alone Lego box underneath the Christmas tree as a Christmas gift. Very cool. Tons of Easter eggs in that first room alone. If we come over here into the dining room, you'll see we can also move the mannequin head with that same lever that was turning the train set with the Michael Jordan cutout. You have your dining chairs that I need to fix. You've got the macaroni and cheese that Kevin makes right before the house gets broken into in the movie. And even back there in the back corner, you can see he has the fan blowing. That's another Easter egg towards the movie where Kevin sets up the fan to blow all the feathers when they break in. And then if we just open up the front door as well, you could see you have the famous staircase that Kevin sled rides down and out. And I love this little McAllister welcome mat. And also, talking about the staircase, you get a little makeshift sled, which I thought was pretty cool to build. So overall, that's the first floor. Tons of Easter eggs, really cool build. And I love that it's set up like a modular set. So we go ahead and close that and then we can place our second floor on. And again, like I said, it connects just like a modular set, gets it locked in. We can pop open the front windows or the front walls. Over here you have the bedroom, which is Kevin's brothers. You can definitely tell because of 
the the picture of his girlfriend from that famous scene where he looks at it and says buzz your girlfriend wolf so very cool that they incorporated buzz's buzz's bedroom this also comes down to collapse just like in the movie when kevin's climbing on the bookshelf and it comes down and the spider gets out and there you see buzz's spider his tarantula and then also you have some family pictures hanging on the wall coming from downstairs in the staircase over here you have the master bedroom it's a little small but you know you get the big picture with the big bed that kevin loves to jump on and all of that you even have his popcorn then you have the famous bathroom scene where he's shaving and he screams when he puts on the aftershave. So, very cool second floor. Lots of Easter eggs. Love that. We can go ahead and close this. So once we've added the, the roof back to the house, again, we can flip it up. And you can see this is where Kevin ends up having to sleep. You have his nice pull-out couch bed. You have this cool gumball machine up here. You got his battle plan, the layout of the house. And then you have a little cobweb over there. And you can see right there, you have the stairs that he climbs up into. So overall, very cool set. Like I said, it comes apart like a modular. The, the, the front walls open up, but then there's even more. So let's go ahead and turn this around. Now that we're looking at the back, of Kevin's house you can see you have the zip line from his window all the way down into a tree house which is tr Kevin's tree house like in the movie like when he's escaping his house before he calls the police from across the street you get this cool little tree house of Kevin's nothing too detailed but it's definitely a nice touch but what's cool is the back side of the house also comes off the roof comes off of that and inside here you have the pizzas you have a fridge which you can open up and you'll see a bunch of stuff just came out probably should have done that but for the video on the exterior wall over here you have the laundry chute that he sets up all his action figures and shoots them down with his bb gun very cool touch in fact that can open up and then you have stuff in here that falls down which when i pull this part off i will show you that as well so as we pull that off you can see it's connected just like modulars would be right into the back of the house this will give you a better view on the inside the little doorway the doggy door that allows kevin to shoot them with his bb gun you have the TV right there in the corner with the epic scene that was actually a film within a film. I don't know if any everybody knows that, but when they shot Home Alone, they actually made that movie, the I'll, I'll Pump Your Guts Full of Lead. That scene, that movie was actually shot specifically for Home Alone movie. Little fun fact. Up here you have the torch for when Harry sticks his head in or when Harry kicks the door down and it blows his torches his hair so many different little scenes within each little modular build and then below that you have the infamous basement which you'll see you got a sock stuck in tar from when marv is coming through you have the famous boiler that if you lift up on it it lights up actually very cool touch i thought that was really cool part of the build the boiler when you lift it it kind of it lights up like in the movie where it, he sees it talking to him so very cool very cool tons of detail tons of hidden little features and if we turn it back around you'll see it's not necessarily exactly how the movie the, the home is in the movie, you know, he's got the walk upstairs in, in the movie. It's just walking at them and the basement door is actually walking down the stairs. But for Lego's sake, very, very cool. In fact, this also comes off 
just like a modular. So we can set that to the side. And then you can see the boiler even better. So again, very cool, very cool build. Tons of Easter eggs throughout the entire build. I, I really love that. Now, obviously, one day I would love to incorporate this into the LEGO City. I think it makes a great piece, especially around holidays. Love, I would love to have this displayed in my LEGO City, especially around Christmas. As I continue to evolve the LEGO City, I do plan on putting it in a place so that way I can feature it, maybe feature that, the haunted house, that sort of thing, so I can rotate some stuff. I don't know, maybe ultimately I'd be able to keep it there for good. So that's the Home Alone Lego house. Let me know what you think of it, if you have it. How did you enjoy the build? What do you think of it? Maybe I missed some of the Easter eggs. I'd love for you to point them out for me. If you don't have it, I highly suggest you get it, especially before it retires. I don't see this piece being around much longer. And it is a must-have for any Lego collector, especially if you're a Home Alone kid, especially a Home Alone kid like myself. You know, I grew up watching this movie, so I, when I saw that come out, I knew I had to have it. But thanks for watching. Make sure you join us back here again tomorrow when we continue on developing our Lego City. We're going to be putting some cars into it, so make sure you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Make sure you come back. And as always, stay creative.